Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Y.D. Divedi, Professor from Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. I am in the continuation of Aircraft Stability and Control. Lecture number 58, Definition and Terminology, Module 3 and related to the equations of motion. In this, I am going to cover the following topics. The important terms related to the lateral static stability and equations of motions in, in this topic. So, first is aircraft equation of equations of motion. The equations of motion EOM consists of the right hand side of the equations made up of the applied forces and moments and the left hand side of the equation provide the aircraft response. The aircraft equations of motion are obtained by applying Newton laws to a rigid body. So these equations of motions are derived from the Newton's second law of motion. Euler's angle. The Euler's angles are used to rotate the vehicle carried earth axis system into coincidence with the body axis system. The Euler angles are expressed as yaw, psi, pitch, theta, and roll phi. So these three angles which are with respect to the earth axis system, how much if we rotate from earth axis system, we can get to the body axis system and from body axis to the earth axis system if you do the minus Euler's angle. The slip, uh, the flow of air driven backward by a propeller or downward by a rotor. So if you see that, uh, if this is the aircraft, and here we are putting one propeller like this. So it is rotating and it is pushing air towards backward. This is called the slip. Okay. So the flow of air driven backward by a propeller or downward by a rotor. Uh, if it is a helicopter, if you see, this is the this is the tail rotor, and here is the this is called main rotor. So here also it is rotating like this. So wind is coming like this. So, this is also the, this is the helicopter. So, this is also called the slip. Okay, so this is the meaning of the slip of the aircraft. Okay. So, now was in and was out. It is very important. If you see the wings or the propellers, they are not straight. If you see the leading edge, this root and the tip both are not in the same plane. Okay. So, a method of increasing lift by increasing was in or decreasing the angle of incidence of the outer part of the airplane with the with wing to counter the effect of engine torque. Okay. So, the wing, if you want to increase the wing, then if you want to increase the lift, so you, you have to wash in or decrease the lift, so you have to wash out an angle of incidence. So if you want to increase, increase the, then it is a wash in. So if you see at the tip, the angle of, angle of attack is less. So it is a wash out and at the root, angle of attack is more, it is a wash in. So we don't want at the tip, lift should be more, otherwise bending forces will be very high. To avoid that, we do the wash in and wash out of the wing. And same way for the propeller also, if you see, at the root, it has got more angle of attack. At the tip, it has got less angle of attack. So that at the tip, it is a wash out 
and at the root it is a was in. Okay. So next is significant of the Renault number. We know the Renault number is R E is equal to rho V L by B. Okay. So if you see this, uh, uh, it is a non-dimensional number which indicates the flow pattern. It is laminar or it is a turbulent. Okay, so Renault number is defined as the ratio of the inertial force to the viscous force. So here, this is the viscous force and this is the inertial force. So inertial force by viscous force. So if Re is less, it means viscous forces are more. Okay, and if and if the R E is high, R E is high. It means inertial forces are forces are high. Okay, so if you see in aircraft, if the laminar flow. Laminar flow, it is 10 to the power 5, less than 10 to the power 5 and turbulent flow greater than 10 to the power 6. So, this uh, Renault number also gives this value so that it can be reduced. Now, degree of freedom, there are 6 degree of freedom, it refers to the freedom of movement of a rigid body in 3 dimensional space. It has three translational and three rotational moment. So this three translation means forward, sideways, and this. These are the three translation and three rotation, pitching, rolling, and yawing. So this is called the six degree of freedom. Fry's ailerons are used in aircraft, a type of aileron that has a bevel leading edge projected beyond its inset hinges when lowered. It forms an extension of the wing surface. When raised, its nose protrudes below the wing, increasing drag and reducing yaw moment. Okay, so this Fry's aileron, if you see, this is the wing. And here, if you see, if you put down like this, this is the aileron. So, some part will come up like this. Okay. And if you make up, it will be like this. So, this part will generate extra drag. Okay. So, that is the purpose of the Fry's aileron. And this ailerons are used to increase the drag and reducing the yaw. Spoilers, spoilers are used to spoil the lift of the aircraft. So a long movable narrow plate along the upper surface of an airplane wing used to reduce lift and increase drag by breaking or spoiling the smoothness of the airflow. So in the wing, if you see, this is the wing and this is here flow. So at here, so a small, small part, it will come out. These are called the spoilers. These spoilers are used to spoil the lift and increase the drag. And these are used for during landing, these spoilers are used. Aircraft body axis system. The body axis system is fixed to the aircraft with its origin at the aircraft center of gravity. The x axis is defined out of the nose of the aircraft. Some reference line. The reference line may be chosen to be chord line of the aircraft or may be along the floor of the aircraft. As it often the case in large transport aircraft, the y axis is defined out the right wing of the 
aircraft and z axis is defined as shown through the bottom of the aircraft just you can see the body axis the center of gravity here and it is x axis towards the nose the y axis is towards the right wing and the z axis towards the earth so this is called the aircraft body axis system aircraft response when some force is applied on airplane this airplane will behave according to the applied force this is called aircraft response it means if you apply some force and your after application of the force the response of that body will accordance with the force then we say it is a response of the aircraft flare is a, a simple maneuver performed movements before landing in which the nose of the aircraft is pitched up to a minimum the touchdown rate of speed okay so what is the flare just you can see that if it is landing this is the runway and it is landing so during the landing it is coming the nose wheel will not touch first the main wheel here this will touch and it will go like this and then it will come so this action is called the the flare flare means first main wheel should touch nose wheel should not touch the runway and this type of maneuver is called flare moment of inertia moment of inertia is the indication of the resistance to rotation about that axis so moment of inertia by the newton's first law it is the resistance of the motion it will try to stop you the mass of the body will try to uh, be there in which condition it is there newton's first law is applicable flight envelope an aircraft performance limit specifically the curves of the speed plotted against other variables to indicate the limit of the speed altitude and acceleration that particular aircraft cannot safely exceed so it is a if you see here uh, just i am drawing a flight envelope like this it will start from here like this then it will go like this this is the v and diagram this is the v and this is the n n is a load factor here so if you see here it the positive side is this is the positive side and it is the negative side oh, sorry it is a, a n and this is the v here so this is the load factor positive so positive it may go to 5 to 12 and here minus 3 to minus 5 so these are the limits of the your aircraft should not go beyond this and here this is the aerody aerodynamics limit and here is the engine thrust limit thrust limit this is the structural limit structural limit and here is the negative load factor so the negative load factor aircraft cannot sustain much but positive it can go to 12 and 14 but the negative it is minus 3 to minus 5 for the fighter aircraft and for the normal aircraft it is plus 3 and minus 1 this is the n and this velocity is called the v star velocity this is oh, this is speed and here it is called the aerodynamic speed and it is vs it is a stall speed so this is speeds we have to understand before we go for any anything okay so now slats slats are the movable vanes or auxiliary air foils usually set along the leading edge of the wing but able to be lifted away at certain angle of attack so if you see that this is the wing and at the leading edge some small air foils are there and these are there in whole wing it is not only this thing total everywhere this is also will go like this so they are raised during the fighter aircraft to get the additional lift when the velocity is reduced when the speed of the aircraft is reduced that time this slats are raised to get the additional coefficient of lift during dog fight 
during different maneuvers this slides are used during landing also this slides can be used they are also useful with the help of uh, uh, flaps flaps and this slides are both are put down whenever the more drag is required and this flaps are put for increasing the lift coefficient this slides rigid body concept we assume that the aircraft body is not flexible it is very rigid and the part the mass which is there it is remain there at any condition there will not be change of mass at any condition so a rigid body assumes that the different parts of the aircraft are not moving with respect to each other means every part is intact where it's supposed to be at no condition there will not be any change in shape there will not be any change of the uh, status of the aircraft at no condition so these are the differences uh, robert c nelson aircraft stability and control automatic control nptel lecture of aircraft stability and control by professor ak ghosh iit kanpur these things i am referring and thank you very much for joining the class i will be continuing the next class for the uh, definition and terminology for the next unit that is the perturbation equations of motion okay so be tuned and we will see in the next class thank you very much like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates